It was just easy because you had signs to sort of look at it. Could you see the shapes that were on the map and sort of see, oh yeah, that's how it sort of makes that corner right here. See something like that? Okay. For a five. I know where I'm supposed to go. I like, know how to get places, but I don't know how to like go the or map map. I didn't know there's certain places I was I was at. Okay, so the area was unfamiliar to you. I knew that. Okay, so it was it was a different perspective than you're used to. Adriel, what did you think? Uh, it was fine. You put a five. It was really hard. Why was it hard? There's an exercise and sort of paying attention to your surroundings. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, thank you, Asha. Let's hold on to that one. Yeah, I noticed some of you guys had some very, very basic things that we might not notice. Like Imani, for example, had fire hydrants. And we walk past fire hydrants all the time. Gabriel, what were you mapping, for example? No parking signs? Do you ever look at parking signs? No. No, why not? Because you don't drive. It's not something you ever think about here. All right, so why you guys, so we were thinking about how hard it was to sort of walk around the neighborhood and look at things from a map maker's perspective. Why do you think we were going through that exercise besides just the learning about drawing maps? Think about what we were mapping, what we chose. What are these, some of these words we've been tossing around for things to look for when making our maps? Ellie Mom, what were we mapping? All right, Simone, what were we mapping? Landmarks. I'm looking for a better word. Calvin, can you help her out? Stuff that's in our community. Stuff that's in our community. We have landmarks in our community. What kinds of things in our community? What are we calling them, Chiamaka? Community resources. That's the word I'm looking for. So what were we mapping, Elima? Community resources. Can anyone... Describe to me what our community resources are. Think about them in terms of the learning resources we looked for in the center. Calvin, go for it. Uh, community resources are stuff that uh, the community needs. Sometimes it's stuff that the community uses daily. And like a supermarket and uh, uh, dry cleaners. Stuff we need, stuff we use daily. Jacoby, do you have something to build on that? Uh, yeah, community resources. What are they? Stuff that we use daily. Like, um, Like trash cans can recycle something. That's a good example of something that we use. Something that we use daily that helps people, right? All right, so what did you guys, what did you guys find interesting 
about what you collected. Talk with your table groups. Think, talk about what you found interesting about just this little bitty area that we went through right here. I want to hear everyone sharing out. Not hearing a lot. We can talk louder than that. We have a lot of space. What was something you guys found interesting? About the lock. Oh. I found, what I found interesting is that like apartments surrounded the whole lock and there were a lot of trash cans. Yeah, that's why I was that interesting. Why is it why is it interesting that you go past that area every day? Because you live around here. So what did what was interesting about this activity because you live around here? <coughs> why would it be why would it be interesting to go walk around your neighborhood, take a nap, take a map like this, write things down about it? Jacoby, what do you think about that? We walk around our own neighborhood. Because what? It's just a normal neighborhood. It's just a normal neighborhood. What's not interesting about a normal neighborhood? All right, can I get a share out from the first table? What was something you guys found interesting while you were walking around? Yes, Chiamaka. You had to find some things that you pay attention that you don't usually pay attention to. All right, because you were, what were you looking for on your map? Stores and restaurants. You're looking for stores and restaurants, so it sort of forced you to point out those sorts of things. Eliman, how does that relate to what you were saying about this is your neighborhood? You see this neighborhood all the time. What did Chiamaka say she found interesting? Elima. Does she never pay attention to the stores and restaurants? Does she know this neighborhood? She knows this neighborhood. You know this neighborhood. We're looking for new things in our neighborhood. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're going to talk about all these things, and we're going to make a larger map. We're going to take out, go ahead and take out your maps that you made yesterday. Take them out. Take a look at them. Real quick, we'll start with Eliman. What did you map? What'd you map? Houses and apartments. Kelvin, what'd you map? Trash cans. Trash cans. Jacoby, what'd you map? Grocery stores. Arsima, what did you map? Fast foods. Fast foods. Asha, what'd you map? All right, same as Eliman over here. Chimaka, what about you? Restaurants and stores. And what about Adria? Parked, parked cars. All right. 
All right, so we got a whole bunch of things. How are, we talked about how these are community resources. What was another word for resources we were looking for? Do you guys remember? Say it louder, Jacoby. Sorry? Materials, not materials. Tools. We use this in terms of our center. We're talking about, yeah. Strengths. What's another word for strengths? Muscles. No, think about. Okay. We're, we're starting it. Appliances, not quite. We talked. We talked about this word that starts with an A. That means strength. Um. Ask. Oh. Ask. Close. Let me get it. Chimaka, can you say it louder? Did you? Did you say it? Not Aztec. No, nope, never mind. Ascent. Say it louder, Arsima. As no. Ashley, you know it. Yes, it's Aztec. I just remember it's Aztec. Asset. Say it louder. Asset. Asset. All right. Asset. Asset to our community. All right, so what are some, how are some of these things you guys mentioned assets to your community, strengths for your community? What about like Kelvins, trash cans? Why are Kelvins helpful? I mean, why are these trash cans? Kel Kelvins are obviously helpful for our community. They are obviously a community asset. But how are trash cans a community asset? They're trash cans. Eleanor, what do you think? Um, like if there wasn't trash cans, then there would be a lot of trash on the floor, and it might be overflowing because there's no trash cans where people can throw it away. They'll just throw it on the floor, and then it might it's gonna get taller and taller, and then so we don't want that. So we need a trash can. So we want so we need a trash can because what are these trash cans doing for our communities, Calvin? They're reducing trash. They're reducing trash. Exactly. And pollution. and pollution. All right. Reducing trash and pollution. So that's one asset. What's another asset that you guys mentioned? Think about how it might be an asset. What I hear over here? Why is a grocery store an asset, Jacoby? So, okay, so, all right, so because we need food to eat, think about a community, sorry, and water, obviously, thank you, exactly, to live, Miss Megan, yes, so, but if my community has, like, we have a McDonald's, we got a little Store. What do we need a grocery store for? Why do we need a grocery store? Oh, yeah. Arsenal, what do you think? To get your food. like if you need dinner or breakfast, you can get it there. Yeah, but what if you want to get it at McDonald's? I don't have dinner at McDonald's or anything. That's right. They just, they sell like vegetables and all that stuff. Like, if to make your own meal. To make your own meal? Okay, well, but that sounds like a lot of trouble. Why do I want to make my own meal, Calvin? <gasps> because it provides fresh produce that you can use. Because McDonald's is not fresh. McDonald's is <laughs> not fresh. <laughs> what else do you think about that, Jacoby? Since you brought up grocery stores as an asset. You can you can what? Save, Say it louder. Save your food from the grocery store instead of getting stuff from McDonald's every day. Okay. So 
Okay, so I don't have to go out and look for things. All right, that makes a lot of sense to me. So what if our community didn't have a grocery store right there? What would happen? What would it be like? What do you think, Arsima? Um, families that want to make their own family traditional, they be able to... Oh, so you're connect. I like how you're connecting it to families and tradition. That's an important part of our community. What's another important part of our community that this is connected to, Chiamaka? And also, if we keep, on, if there's no grocery stores, then we keep on going to um, McDonald's. We'll be spending all of our money on fast food each day. Oh, spending money on fast food, but it's really cheap, isn't it? No, no, so, no. Once you do like every day, it's not. It's not. It's not if you do it every day. What did what did Jacoby say about? A good reason to have grocery stores instead of just restaurants, Elimon. What did what did Jacoby say about a good reason to have grocery stores instead of re just restaurants? Um, so you could, so you don't have to always go out and get food. You don't always have to go out and get food. All right. So how would that affect how it's cheaper? If you can save your food at your house as opposed to going out every day? Because um, grocery stores have a, a wider uh, choice of, of food. Like fast food restaurants and corner stores, they only have like candy and chips. And like McDonald's only does, mainly does burgers and chicken nuggets and fries. things you don't need to eat every day. Arsma, do you have one more thing to add before we move on to another strength? Even if you want to buy fast food every day, when you save it for like dinner or something, like at the night or something, it's going to get bad because it tastes dry, no flavor in it. It's not good anymore. You can't save it like Jacoby had said. You can't save it. You have to go out all the time. All right. So how would you guys, based on... We've talked about a couple of assets in our community. How would you guys describe our community? How would you describe this area that we walked around, this Brightwood community? Some of you guys live here, so you have more information about it to draw on. Well, well what would you say from what you saw? How would you describe this community to someone who's well, never seen it before? Past. Someone from the past. Yeah, exactly. Let's try someone from, from the past. past. Stuff from the past? All right, Chiamaka, what are you thinking about? I'm curious. Um, it's kind of good. It's kind of good? Can it, you elaborate on because that? Because they're also stores, but sometimes you can get robbed. Because I think two summer, two summer breaks ago, my, two of my neighbors got robbed. They got robbed? All right, is that an and asset? Their door is messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need everyone tracking Chiamaka right now. I need all eyes on Chiamaka. Yeah, say it louder. Say it, say it louder. Let everyone know. It's kind of okay because there's food and grocery stores and stuff to help you live, but also it's kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous. Can you tell us why it's kind of dangerous? Because sometimes you get robbed. Sometimes you get robbed. And also there's a lot of broken glass on the floor. <laughs> Ooh, broken glass. Does that relate to, could that relate to Kelvin's? asset that he mapped, the trash cans. How would that help, Kelvin? Uh, the trash cans? Yeah. How would that how would that affect the amount of broken glass everywhere? Um we need to put it in recycling. All right. All right. Would that help? Because Chi Maka said there is broken glass everywhere, even though there are some trash cans. How would that how could we fix that? Nice. I like that idea. Jacoby, you have something to build on it? Make a glass trash can. I think that's along the lines of the recycling. Yeah, something separate to make sure people put glass in. Start a campaign to put glass in. But I'm really curious about what Chiamaka was saying.